Welcome to Tor Beta Math. Before we look at factorisation, let's have a reminder about double brackets. Consider the following expression. If we multiply this out, we're going to get x times this bracket, x plus 4, which is here, minus 3 times this bracket, which is here, x plus 4. And when we multiply those out, we're going to get x squared plus 4x, and with this bracket, minus 3x minus 12, because minus 3 times plus 4 is minus 12. When we simplify that, we can simplify these two terms, bring them together, to form x squared plus x minus 12. So these two expressions are equivalent, and they are both called quadratic expressions because they have an x squared term in them. Now factorization is the inverse process, that is, starting with x squared plus x minus 12, we've got to put it into the double brackets as x minus 3, x plus 4. Factorizing quadratics then. Look at this one y squared plus 7y plus 12. We're going to look at the signs in this, and by that I mean this sign and this sign are important in the way we treat this expression. This sign, the second sign, is plus, so the signs in the bracket are going to be the same. And because this sign is plus, both the bracket signs are going to be plus. So this one tells us they're going to be the same, this one tells us that they're going, both going to be plus. So we need y plus this, and y plus this, these question marks, we've got to find what numbers go there. And we use a little sentence to do this. And we start here and say we want the factors of 12 which add to 7. We look for the factors of 12 which add to 7. And it's add because that sign is add. Factors of 12 which add to 7. So we think about the factors of 12. Obviously 3 and 4 fit that because 3 and 4 are factors of 12 which add to 7. The only ones. So that's our answer to factorising y squared plus 7y plus 12 is brackets y plus 3, bracket y plus 4. Notice these could be either way around. We could have y plus 4, bracket y plus 3, because when you multiply numbers together, it doesn't matter which order you show them in. If you multiply that out, like we did in the reminder at the beginning, you obviously end up with the expression that we started with, y squared plus 7y plus 12. Let's have a look at the next one. In this case, we're going to be looking at the factors of 15, which add to 8. Well, the signs are going to be the same, because that's plus, and they're both going to be plus, because that's plus. And if we think about that for a little while, the factors of 15 which add to 8 are 3 and 5, 5, 3 is 15, 3 add 5 is 8. And that works because when we multiply out the bracket, that 5 is going to be multiplied by that a, and that 3 is going to be multiplied by that a, so we we'll have 5a plus 3a, giving 8a when we multiply out the bracket. Looking at another one, this time, both the signs are going to be the same because that's a plus sign, but this time they're both going to be minus because that one tells us they're going to be minus. But we're still looking for the factors of 21 which add to 10. And that tells us again the second sign is plus, so the brackets will be the same. The first sign is minus, so the bracket signs are minus. 
and we'll look for the factor of 21 which add because that sign is add to 10. You don't have to think about that for very long to realize that the two factors are 3 and 7. 7 3 to 21 and 7 and 3 add to 10. They're both going to be the same, they're both going to be minus, we've said that, so we can change the question marks to 3 and 7. And we've sorted that one out. Okay, let's look at the situation where the second sign is negative. What that tells us is the bracket signs are going to be different. And because it's a minus sign, we're going to be looking for the factors of 12 which differ by 4. The factors of 12 which differ by 4. If you think about that for a little while, it's not long before you come up with the answer 6 and 2, because 6 2 to 12, and 6 take away 2 is 4. What I'm left with is, I know the signs have got to be different, 1's plus and 1's minus, but which is which? The answer is, now look at this one, and say I want minus 4. So because I want a minus number there, I put the minus in front of the biggest factor. So it's minus 6 and plus 2. And that works because when you multiply out that bracket in the middle there, you'd have minus 6y plus 2y, giving minus 4y. So because we want a minus there, we put a minus in front of the biggest factor. Looking at this one then, we know again that the bracket sign they're going to be different and we're looking for the factor of 12 which differ by 4. Just as we were up here, factors of 12 which differ by 4. These expressions are very similar, only the sign in front of the 4y is changed in fact. And when we look at that, what we're going to get is obviously the two same factors, 6 and 2, but this time because we want plus 4y there, the plus sign goes in front of the biggest factor. And we get the other situation, that 6y minus 2y is 4y, which is what would be in the middle when we multiply out those two brackets. And let's have a look at this one. This tells us the bracket signs are going to be different. And we're looking here for the factors of 30, which differ by 1 because the coefficient of y there is 1. Don't need to think about that for very long before you discover that that's 5 and 6. Because 5, 6 is a 30, and 6 take away 5 is 1. But again, we need minus y there, so we want the minus sign in front of the biggest factor, which is 6 in this case. So we have minus 6, and we know the other one's going to be plus because they're going to be different. And you can multiply that out if you wish to and check that it actually gives you what you started with. Okay, another example. Look again, we're looking at brackets which have different signs and we're looking for the factor of 48 which differ by 13. Factor of 48 which differ by 13. If we think about that for a little while, we come up with 3 16s are 48, and 16 minus 3 is 13, so they'll do fine. And because it's plus 13 we want, we're going to put the plus sign in front of the biggest factor. In this case, that's the 16, so it's y minus 3, y plus 16. And that's factorising quadratics. Thank you for watching.